Grab some coffee, a Mountain Dew, maybe both. A storm is brewing, the Brainstorm. Welcome to the Brainstorm with Matt and Mike. Hey guys, welcome to the Brainstorm with Matt and Mike. The Brainstorm is a show all about business building. We're excited. We have uh, some cool things for you today. Uh, we have a big time discussion on some referral based marketing and network marketing. Uh, my colleague and business partner, Michael White's here. Mike, you, uh, you ready to get going? Absolutely, Matt. Let's get going. All right. So again, the topic is network marketing or referral based marketing. Mike, there are so many really cool ways to advertise your business today, right? I mean, there's online and offline and, and within online and offline, there is just a ton of different directions you can go to advertise yep. your business. The options are just so vast. You know, you, you and I talk about digital a lot. Mm -hmm. In fact, it would be hard to convince me that most businesses don't need some type of digital presence. It'd be tough to find one that didn't. Right, and so digital marketing and advertising is is kind of like when you, when you start scaling primary uh, to secondary types of tactics and things of that mm -hmm. nature, it's like digital always has to be in the discussion. In the, yep, uh, I'd say in the forefront. Usually. Absolutely, and so, but today we have uh, uh, really kind of just a discussion all about referral-based marketing. And referrals can come from all over the place, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm really passionate about this particular show uh, on referral-based marketing because we spend so much time, money, and effort, which I talk about a lot in this. You know, it's just, uh, it's good. Uh, and, and so I'm sure you would agree that digital is probably one of the top. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would say that uh, ultimately people do business with other people. And so uh, digital is just another way for you to connect with those people and really, really just engage them uh, when they're not front and center, right in front of you physically. Absolutely. So it, it should complement, not completely replace in most cases. Well, today we're going completely offline, right? We're going offline to talk about some ways of creating opportunities and one of the very best is network marketing. Now, the first thing I wanted to do, I wanted to make sure that we do is, and you heard me say it a minute ago, is change the name from network marketing to referral-based marketing. In fact, uh, we have a great guest on the show with us today. And when I sent over some suggestions about what we should talk about, I kept calling it network marketing. And Shirley says, can we change the name to referral-based marketing? <laughs> and so then I started looking up network marketing, just try to get some stats on it and things of that nature. And every single thing associated with what I can find on network marketing was really multi-level marketing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ugh, that's not exa that's not what we're talking about at all. <laughs> ugh. Ugh, not in a, that's not a <laughs> ugh in a negative way. It's just not what we're talking about today. We're talking about really, truly referral-based marketing. So referral-based marketing is probably the oldest form of advertising and possibly still one of the very best today. And uh, again, like I said, we have a very special guest. Mike, introduce our guest. Yeah, Matt, so we're excited today. We've got Miss Shirley Town here with us. And uh, Shirley is the executive director of BNI of the Midlands of this great state we call South Carolina. And uh, she's a good friend, extremely involved in our community. She actually uh, sits on a couple of boards uh, with me, uh, one being a, a local chamber, Lexington uh, Chamber of Commerce. And uh, she, so she's a big advocate of all local um, you know, associations, chambers, things of that nature. But she's also a business owner beyond BNI. So she's, uh, she's certainly experienced from a, uh, a business perspective. And, uh, and she comes here to share a lot of really great insights with us. So thanks for being here, Shirley. Pleasure to be here. Excellent, excellent. So, Shirley, um, just explain what BNI is for our listeners. Sure. Well, BNI, first, I'll start off by saying it stands for Business Networking International. We're the leading networking organization with approximately 9,000 chapters wow. um, across 70 countries with 254,000 members. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is great. So, here in the Midlands, mm. we have 25 chapters. Um, and with 800 members actually. And so it's kind of cool. I remember with my ADT business actually um, 
relying on the yellow pages for ads. Right. Do you remember right. that? Oh, you remember yeah, that? absolutely. And I stayed in longer than anybody paying $5,000 a month and I needed something to replace it. And yeah. I actually went to B&I to replace it. And it has just done that and then some without the investment and money for sure. You know, that, that's uh, that's awesome. So so tell us, I mean, you're not only just being part of B&I, but being a member of B&I first, right? Sure. Before you became executive director and, and purchased this region in B&I. Just tell us about the purpose of referral marketing uh, and why it's so different in, in terms of advertising in general. Absolutely. So for me, it's all about building relationships. And the neat thing is it's not necessarily a reciprocal relationship. I might be in the position to give directly to Mike. Mike not be Mike might not be in the position to give directly back to me, but he can give it to somebody else in the right. room. And so the more people we have in the room, the arms are going every which way, and it just really makes it start working for us. So, But in the end, it's all about building those relationships that really last a lifetime. Some people are going to come and go based on their, their jobs, you know, whatever they've got going on in life. But those relationships transcend even what BNI is. So give us, if you would, take a moment and give us like a, a detailed breakdown of what a referral might look like. It, you can use examples from like the realtor to the tradesman or sure. you know, just some real life examples of what those referral, what referral marketing is in BNI. Okay, so in B and I we have one per classification, and so I think that's really important to note. And so we really talk about spheres of influence, and mm -hmm. so we have the home and trades, we have the health and wellness, and personal services, and then we have like the business to business sphere, mm -hmm. and so they all kind of work within each other, and then they cross cross sphere refer as well. So the I might be able to give the realtor a referral to sell somebody's house. And then once he goes to list the house, he may reach out and use a ton of people. Might be the home inspector, might be the flooring guy, might have a problem in the crawl space, might need a HVAC inspection. All those different things will come from that one referral. One referral and it just fills wow. the room up. And, and without that type of relationship, then who knows where those types of services and referrals would have ended up. That's true. And you know, the longer I do B&I and I in referral, networking the more i realize it's not just the fact that you can give somebody a referral it's it's the fact that you're really supplying the people in your life with quality people so it really solidifies solidifies your relationship within your own community so i look like a rock star to my client when mm -hmm. i supply them with the right person for that mm -hmm. job I love when they're that. a quality person somebody they can trust i love that that's awesome so surely um you know matt and i both are in bni as are multiple other people within our organization and, and we've had a lot of success from it and have our own stories but uh, for the benefit of the li of the listeners here can you tell us a little bit about the format of the meetings like what it's like absolutely um so our formats are really um really simple the first time we go around the room we really hear from the members and what they're looking for it could be a specific person it could be a specific referral um and then you know we the second time we go around the room we talk about the referrals that we've given mm -hmm. and the visitors that we have in the room um and then we also have an education moment in there um so just a lot of neat components it's a very mm -hmm. structured well thought out meeting that starts and ends in 90 minutes Right, right. So, you know, you just touched on the fact that it ends in 90 minutes. What, what can someone who visits one of these, these groups, these chapters, uh, expect to uh, kind of experience? Well, it's an experience for them to share a little bit about their business and then to learn about all the businesses in the room. Right. That, that's awesome. Man, referral-based marketing is probably one of the best. I'm pumped about having Shirley Town on the Brainstorm with us today. And we're gonna take a quick break and be right back. The Brainstorm with Matt and Mike. Welcome back to The Brainstorm with Matt and Mike. Today's topic is network marketing or referral-based marketing. Earlier, we were talking um, with Shirley Town, our guest, and having a great conversation specifically on referral-based marketing. And, uh, and Shirley Town's the executive director uh, with BNI of the Midlands. Uh, she was talking about having a ton, there's a ton of people across the nation and across the world in BNI. It's probably, it is 
I don't say probably, it is the world's most powerful network, business networking uh, organization in the world, and it's awesome. I'm blessed, I'm blessed because Shirley Town uh, actually invited me to um, the BNI chapter that I'm in right now. I was in a different BNI. I've actually been in and out of BNI, Mike and I both, uh, for 12, 14 years ish. Yeah, in fact, my first uh, stint in BNI was uh, about 20 years ago. So. Yeah. As and, a mortgage? In the, in, in the mortgage, mortgage business. In the mortgage nice. industry. Yeah. Nice. And so we've been in and out. We probably are the longest, as far as active members in BNI, I will guarantee Indeed. you that our initial time in BNI was longer, uh, you know, the length of time between now and then was right. longer than any other active uh, people in BNI. I think Shirley should give us some type of plaque or award Got to be an award for that somewhere. I'm thinking Jason Strickland might have you beat out on that. No, yeah. Jason actually started the group with Mike. Yep. Mike was in that uh, in that focus That's group right. at in the same group at Flight Deck. We were actually as splash. in a, as Splash. Yeah. We were in a different group altogether. Gotcha. In mortgage business, because I think Jason says he's been in it for thirteen or fourteen years. Uh, like fourteen yeah. years. He yep. was just smart enough to never leave. That he was. He never <laughs> was. He was. He has, Jason Strickland is he's awesome. J on Jason that for sure. Strickland has been in BNI every single week. Week for for probably 14 years. Oh, yeah. If you don't think that it's worth it, <laughs> you talk to Jason Strickland. No doubt. I think one time he literally took off because his wife was in labor at that very moment during the meeting. And it was questionable whether or not he was going to, where he was going to be. We were all a little <laughs> yeah. shocked to see him not show up. Um, oh, that's so, yeah, great. No, he's a that's pretty great. dedicated We give him a hall dude. pass on that yeah. one, right? Yeah, exactly. Did you give him a medical leave on that one? We did. Yeah. We did. So again, I was saying that I was blessed because Shirley invited me to the current group, which happens to be the largest chapter in the nation. So in Shirley's region here, we have the flagship of BNI. We are so super proud of that. I mean, right here in Lexington County, we have the largest chapter in the United States. It's crazy. So like, I remember when I was a member of RRG representing my ADT business, there was a chapter in Manhattan and they were, they were like called Lucky 68. And I would watch them almost, I'm embarrassed to admit this, almost every single day I'd see what their count was. <laughs> and we beat them. And I'll never forget a the vice president at the time said, are you going to like make a Facebook post? I'm like, no, I don't want them to know we're beating them. I, <laughs> I certainly do not want to ever encourage them to do better. Right. I just want to silently kick their butt. Right. <laughs> and, 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 and I don't know that over the last couple of years as we've gone from 70, 68 to 70, up to 125, 130, Matt, it's, it's been silent at all. Yeah, so it's been absolutely crazy, the growth. So I can tell you as president, I think I grew it by like 10, and then the next year after me, they grew by like 24 and the year following by 27. That's crazy. And so it was just insane. That's another chapter. That's another average Absolutely. chapter size. So these this group of people, they're just on fire. And what it takes to grow a BNI chapter like that is really four or five drivers. Yeah. We don't even succumb to the 80-20 rule. You know, it's typically four or five people that are really driving yeah. a chapter when it comes to growth. Yeah, I can tell you that um, I'm like Mike said earlier. We're completely bought in. I, I'm definitely bought in, and uh, I, I absolutely love BNI. You know what I really like the most about it? What's that? I really love the one to ones. Ah, it, it's just that's where those that's where true happens. relationships are made. And so we go to the meetings. Your ninety minute meeting. We might eat lunch or breakfast, depending on the time of day or sure. the the day or whatever the case may be. And we get to stand up for, you know, 30, in our chapter, it's like 35 seconds. A lot of chapters, you right. can stand up for 60 seconds. Yeah, we I get think 60 seconds. We could get 90, 90 seconds if we wanted, <laughs> yeah, 120. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you guys get a full minute to talk about, but really we get 35 seconds. But here's what we're doing. In that 35 seconds, we're not trying to educate everybody on who we are and what we do. We have 35 seconds. Correct. It's impossible. What I really like is I like the fact of what you're doing is you're listening to people tell who they are and what they do in order to find the person interesting in order to find what they do interesting mm -hmm. and then you're setting up a what what, I, what i'm referring to as a one-to-one -one, or mm -hmm. actually what it's referred to as a one-to-one -one. correct and man surely that is that's my favorite part because i'm a people person as you know right and sitting down and learning about people 
And you actually taught me this. The best thing to learn about people in those one-to-ones is the differentiator. Absolutely. I, you've got to walk away from every single one-to-one being able to talk about what sets that person apart from anybody else in their industry. And really more than that, even the key situation that you need to bring them up in conversation, like what are you looking for to be able to bring them up in conversation? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people think we're just getting together and having lunch. It's not that, like no. we're connecting on a different level. The neat thing is we give people permission to be intentional about passing business to each other. We don't need well, an like excuse that. to talk about business, like we're gonna get down to business in a one-to-one. -one. We're not gonna waste each other's time. And you know, the longer I'm in this, the more I realize the most important thing that we can do for somebody is introduce them to that golden goose referral partner. Mm. So it's that old saying that says, give a man a fish, he eats four. A day. Mm -hmm teach a man to fish he, yeah he, he eats right. for life and, right and teaches others how and to teaches fish. other and, and feeds his community right, and, and absolutely and so if i hook you up with that golden goose referral partner that's going to keep on feeding you then i just didn't pass you one referral i yep. gave you a source of income that could last a lifetime i love it yeah that's, that's great in fact in my first stint as i shared earlier in bni i i wasn't i was in mortgage banking and i had an insurance agent he was an all-state agent who's now retired he, uh, he called me and wanted to do a one-to-one. -one. Back then, we didn't call it one-to-ones. Right. Same thing. Sure. It's just been formalized. And, right. and so I meet him in his office, and these two ladies walk in, and he introduces me, and they're two real estate agents. And he said, hey, you know what? I got a call I, I need to take in the back. And he leaves the room and leaves me with these two ladies. And to, uh, to wrap the story up, within a year, they did half a million dollars in business with me nice it was amazing off that introduction yeah and it, and and it just con it continued to uh snowball from there so i remember it was awesome. those people I remember so that's those that folks, golden yeah. goose yeah. it really it's amazing it, it was amazing and it all came from getting to know them getting to right. know people right so so surely give us give the listeners and us a little bit of background and, and talk to us about ivan meisner right okay. who, who is who is this character yeah so <laughs> ivan meisner what an amazing guy to get to meet but his story is he lost his biggest um, client. And when he lost that client, that client kind of served as an elephant for him. Like he was really mm -hmm. dependent on that client to make his bills. And when he lost that huge client, he realized, number one, I never want to just put myself in the position to depend on one person to feed my family. Number two, I got to replace them. And how am I going to do that? So he started thinking about the guys that he knew and in business. And he said, well, why don't we get them together and we start sharing referrals like that? Mm -hmm. And he started doing it and it started working and they came up with some guidelines. Next thing you knew, there were other people from the same professions represented wanting to start another one. He said, this isn't what I do. You know, I'm a business advisor and I, this isn't what I do. And they kept hounding him and he started doing it. By the end of his first year, he had 20 chapters. And then he realized this is what I do. This is what I'm going to freaking do forever. Like this is it. And so it grew from there. It went from state to state to state, started in California. And um, now the neatest thing is they move their corporate office from California to right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So they're literally in our backyard, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And so, but the neatest thing is we're in 70 countries. So, you know, when you talk about that chapter that you're in, Matt, being the number one in the United States, you know, you're talking about it competing behind India and and you know just malaysia where the population is crazy huge mm -hmm. and here you are in lexington south carolina doing business like nobody else's business it's super exciting to see that but that's that's what ivan did that's what he created can you imagine starting in in you know at the coffee table in your house you know just coming up with an idea to what this is today all those members doing crazy amounts of business. Matt, do you realize what your chapter um, passed last year in business? What, what was that total? It was over $10 million. It was like 10.2 million. Um, so that would be the second year that we broke the 10 million mark. And I firmly believe we'll do it again. There's no doubt, That's there's awesome. no doubt. I mean, because just last week, it was either last week or two weeks ago, I remember that we passed, a almost a million dollars wow. it just happened to be a massive week it was a huge week yeah, and so that numbers. that is so cool and i know there's other you know networking organizations or groups and i i have 
friends in some of those. Sure. Right? I've talked to. Yep. And I have visited others as well with some of my friends. I've been members of other ones. Yeah. And I'm going <laughs> to tell you, there is absolutely nothing like B&I. The structure, the benefits, right. the it's just the resources that you were saying that Ivan figured out and he continued to perfect at the, at a, at a, on a global level. Right. And now he's, he gives all to, he gives them all to us all the way down to an individual basis. Talk to us about like the resources that yeah, as a member you 100%. get. 100%. So, you know, you talk about the resources and really what he designed. I mean, you think about the traditions and innovations that he came up with. I mean, he nailed so much of the fundamental stuff from the get go, the structure of the meeting, you know, being limited to one classification, you know, per chapter. So he nailed all those things right off and he's just been tweaking everything else. The neatest thing is the punch and the investment that he put into technology. So mm -hmm. we have an app that you, we can see, you know, we can get our referrals, pass our referrals, not just within our chapter, but within our region. And then of course, across the sea, um, worldwide, we can send these um, referrals. And we've seen that happen in our chapter. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yep. I think that is, that is key. We were talking about uh, our chapter RG. Yes. And, and RG stands for Referral Resource Group. Referral Resource Group. And so it's the largest BNI chapter in the nation. And I'm just blessed to be a part of it. So uh, we definitely think that BNI works. We, we don't think it works. We absolutely know it works. Sure. We're blessed because of it. So much so that we actually have recently have 13 people across eight chapters in this region so we're absolutely invested uh, in that we're going to continue talking with shirley town the executive director of bni of the midlands we really appreciate you being here and look forward to the rest of our conversation on the brainstorm with matt and mike welcome back to the brainstorm with matt and mike today we're talking about Referral based marketing, probably one of my favorites. I mean, there is absolutely nothing like it. it. And it doesn't come easy, first of all. Referrals don't just happen, <laughs> right? I mean, you said the word intentionality a minute ago, and I was like, yeah, that's a perfect word for this. It mm -hmm. is. It's funny. I've heard Ivan Miser actually talk about this. When was the last time your mama or your best friend sent you a referral? <laughs> <laughs> and then when was the Almost last time never. a BNI member sent you a referral? I can right. tell you what happens more. Yeah, yeah. So referral based marketing is just awesome. I know that when someone calls and says, hey, I heard uh, someone so-and-so, you know, so-and-so gave me your name and told me I should call you. I almost treat that differently. Mm -hmm. you, you know? You, like, you need I, to. Yeah, like, you know, I, I hate that you treat anybody better than other people. It's just, you know. Sure. Uh, but referral-based marketing is so cool. And, and you just heard Shirley. Uh, Shirley Towns, the executive director of BNI of the Midlands, uh, one of the most uh, probably sought out networking types of groups that you can participate in. Uh, if it's not, then you're sadly mistaken on how you're marketing your business in a referral based scenario. Uh, but BNI is so powerful, we believe in it. And so we have Shirley Town with us today. And the other day, Mike, I had a call from one of our clients that referred us to another client is an attorney that referred us to another attorney out of town in a different town hmm. right and he's like okay well i'm not gonna refer you to another one of my competitors <laughs> which you know but i'm gonna refer you to someone else because you guys are doing such a good job for me that i want to make sure that i help you as much as you help me and what i love about that is that is the reciprocal nature and the entire theory of the motto for B&I, and I mean, we hadn't talked Giver's about gain. that, Giver's right? Giver's gain, absolutely. Giver's gain. Explain that to, to folks, Shirley. Absolutely, so it's giver's gain. I think it's the purest form of karma. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just like you want to, you put it out there and it'll come full circle to you in some kind of way. And that is what we're all about. It's everything we talk about is about the giver's gain. You go into a BNI chapter and you ask what our core value is, our main core value, and you're going to hear people just blurt it out. Mm -hmm. um, you know it from day one. I think Ivan Meiser definitely did a good job getting that one across. It I is like our it. culture. Mm -hmm 
through and through. It's the whole thing about the more you give, the more it's going to come back to you. But you start with giving. And so it's funny, I, you know, we have podcasts in B&I where you can listen to a podcast. And I was listening to actually an Ivan Meisner live Facebook thing. So he's doing digital. So it's yeah. not just, yeah. you know, I was thinking about when you were talking about how important digital is, very much of what we do is digital. So I listen to him on Facebook live and I hear him talking about, you know, just really um, meeting somebody and them initially just selling to you like like they don't even know you you know you haven't even really gotten to know each other and they just start selling yeah and he's like that's just not what we are it's not what we are and it's it's a turn off it's a total turn off it's just it makes you feel uncomfortable and that person doesn't know you from adam and they're just trying to sell you and of course it happens to him all the time even being i members do it to him i can't imagine that doing that to him but people have done it to him and he's just he says he just kind of sits back and says i'm sorry i didn't catch your name and he calls it a (laughs) mindset reset yeah and you just kind of come back from it and then you say you know, maybe you should listen to my podcast on on building relationships or whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah, he has a really great way of bringing it back and letting people really realize you're not getting this. And so it's kind of like you want to be interested <laughs> instead of being interesting. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and that's really what we start with. We start by getting to know the other person and their business. And I always think, you know, the best way to really connect with them is to give them a referral. Mm. You know, a good quality referral, not a lead. Like we don't do leads in yeah, B&I. Yeah, not a leads group. Not <laughs> no, a leads group. Not a leads group. Yeah, it's a good quality. It's a referral group. That's right. It's referral marketing. So That's we can't right. just announce that they're opening a new Shoney's down the road and... And they, need a roofer, and they need a roofer. They might need a roofer one you know. day. <laughs> that, that's right. No, it's not that at all. Yeah. Right. It's a very warm introduction, and we're sharing, you know, that differentiator with that person and really setting them up for success. And mm-hmm. it's often connecting the two of them, even in person. Going with what Mike was just talking about, uh, I know that real estate agents, the one of the core positions of BNI kind of revolves around a really solid real estate agent. Mm-hmm. And because they feed all types of really home services right from roofing to janitorial to absolutely and and we were talking about at break we were talking about some real exciting success stories um and and speaking of a real estate agent we have one that happens to be in my chapter and and, and you know, Shirley, I, I want you to to talk a little bit about Patrick O'Connor and his success. But you know, when I first joined our group, I bought some lots out at a subdivision. I remember, you remember that. that? Pinto Point. Yeah, and, and so, and I don't know if Patrick ever told you, but Patrick, I bought those lots the first <laughs> week I was actually in B and I. Huh. Patrick wasn't there that day. Oh. Okay. And and you will talk about the epitome of believing in B and I. I didn't know Patrick from anybody. Right, I literally looked up the word realtor on our app to see who our realtor was okay. and emailed him blind. He didn't know who I was or anything. And I virtually introduced myself and said, I just joined your group yesterday. This was a Friday, I joined it on a Thursday. Uh-huh. I haven't met you yet, you weren't there, but I've already found the lots, here's the link. Do you want to write the contract and earn the commission for me? He had it written that night by the time I woke up and we did the deal without ever even meeting. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, and so, because I wanted to support the people who I wanted to support me. And so Patrick O'Connor is a true success story. Tell us about Patrick. So, you know, pro, I have to I have to first give somebody a shout out for getting Patrick in our room, in our region, really. So Patrick started another chapter. Michelle Baker had actually come and moved here, I think, from California. Oh, that's right. Bought a home I with like him. Michelle. I like Michelle. Michelle was she an was amazing, amazing awesome. asset to me and I. We miss her. And so... She, she's... She's not passed away. She's just passed on. She moved back <laughs> to right. California. That's right. She moved back to California to help with her grandchild. And so Patrick actually sold her a home here. And Patrick was only in real estate for six months. The spot happened to open up in her chapter. And she invited Patrick and he got the spot. And then Patrick later ran into some um, some issues in the morning where he couldn't make that chapter meeting with childcare. And uh, Patrick was being I homeless for a little while and then actually found the spot at RRG. Um, so Patrick comes into that spot. And do you have any clue how much money he did out of, out of RRG last year? I have no clue. 
He did ten million dollars out of RRG of volume of volume wow. ten million dollars of volume, um, which was roughly about twenty three to twenty four percent of his business that year. So wow. Patrick is like in the top. He's a rock you know, star. Yeah, he really is. So I think he's the top number one agent that is a single agent and not a team. And so, yeah, he's right up there at the top now. And so he came to us when he was six months into the business. He was six months old. Yeah. <laughs> so he's our poster child for what we expect in a realtor. And really, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I leverage my relationship with him to get higher performing realtors in sure. our new chapters. He's certainly elevated our expectation of what we want. What we really have found is the realtor tends to be the matriarch or the patriarch of the BNI family. They're kind of the hub of most things that right, happen in BNI. Right. But then I got to tell you, every once in a while, somebody comes from out of left field and it's the jewelry lady and she's killing it yeah, and giving referrals because yeah, yeah. she's so connected and has that heart of a giver. But yeah, definitely overall, that realtor is the key position in a BNI mm -hmm. chapter. I'm going to keep going back. You've heard Mike and I both say this word so many times in all of our shows and podcasts and in uh, content intentionality, right? And so we have real estate agents that are that have really connected. But Patrick, what I like about Patrick is he's very intentional about asking, "Hey, these floors need to be redone in this house in order to maximize the seller's." ability to sell at in a timely basis and for the maximum amount of money sure. right and so what he does is he makes sure that he has the flooring people from bni come over and it's not just because they're in bni it's because patrick took time and which is what i was talking about earlier in one-to-ones patrick took time to figure mm -hmm. out hey do i trust this flooring guy i vet and patrick vets him out to make sure that they're the right pick right and so when it comes to the referrals that Patrick receives, that's awesome. But what I really love is the amount of profits that Patrick passes on to other businesses in there. Absolutely. That live and die on those referrals that he gives. And he vets these people out for her for his, I guess, refer ease, right? Yep. That he's that he's sending to. And so he, he does a really, really good job. It's it's really cool having him in there. Um, and, and so we're talking about flooring. And, and when we come back uh, from break, which we'll be going to break in just a second, Mike knows this person really well because he's in Rotary. That's right. Him. Nice, yeah. And, and so he's gotten to know him a lot through that. I've gotten to know his wife, Virginia, uh -huh. uh, through, uh, through B and I. And uh, we're going to talk a lot about their story in just a second I when we come back from, from break. So thanks for listening to The Brainstorm with Matt and Mike. We'll be back here in just a short second. Welcome back to The Brainstorm with Matt and Mike. It's uh, been a great day. We're talking with Shirley Town, the executive director of BNI of the Midlands, and it's all about referral-based marketing. BNI Business Networking International, the largest networking organization in the world, and right here in little old Lexington, South Carolina. Um, we like to keep saying that, even though it's grown significantly, <laughs> True. right? Uh, if, if you think it's little, try to get out of town around a 7 a.m. in the morning. No doubt. Uh, you have about an hour commute just to try and get on the interstate <laughs> out of Lexington these days. Uh, but here in Lexington, we are so blessed to have the largest B&I group in the nation with approximately 125, 130 members. Uh, doing well over or passing well over $10 million a year in business to each other. Referrals are simply the best. The people listening, hey, you know it as well. Business owners absolutely know it. When they get a referral, they absolutely know that it's a solid deal. And so referral-based marketing is the best. We were talking about some real true success stories that just absolutely bring me a ton of joy. It's a lot of fun to hear people be successful in their business. We were talking about Patrick O'Connor and some of the referrals that Patrick passes is uh, he was a he's 
one of the very best in real estate uh, located here in the Columbia, South Carolina market. Uh, and one of the referrals that he passes often is flooring. Mm-hmm. And so flooring, um, when you're trying to sell or buy a house, flooring is like one of the key ingredients, right? It's one of the, one of the things that you see the most that can make an impression of good or bad. And uh, when, so you want your floors nice. You want them looking nice. And I know that he refers uh, a good bit of business over to, and these folks do a lot of business here in the Midlands. Uh, and we want to talk about another success story. Good friends of ours, uh, Larry and Virginia Gates. Mike knows Larry from Rotary and just in the community and the Chamber of Commerce and b and and the list goes on and on and on. That's right. I know Mike's good friends with Larry. Talk to us a little bit, Mike uh, and Shirley, about Larry Gates with Floor Pro. Yeah, so so what I understand is Larry actually joined uh, B&I. He decided he wanted to launch his own company. He was uh, working out of his garage. And uh, like many you know, small businesses, just had a dream of, of kind of having his own thing. And, and he had really no clue how, how big he could go, but he knew he was going to give it a go. And uh, through B&I and his other efforts, he's, six years later, he's been able to grow it uh, to the point now where he has numerous trucks. I think he's got two divisions, he maybe does. working on a third. I think one's restoration and one is uh, the cleaning uh, division, you know, where he goes in and cleans carpets or hardwood floors or tile floors. He does commercial and residential. And and uh, and I spoke to him earlier today and he says, man, I, I've got a lot more help now, but I am still getting after it. I was working a job at one o'clock in the morning last night. Yeah, so, he'll do it for sure. You know, it's just one of those people that uh, he and his wife are just, just great people that you love to watch uh, succeed. Um, yeah. And and I, I look forward to watching and seeing what they uh, they have in store in the future. Small uh, small uh, small business of the year award too. Yeah, in fact, yeah, they, yeah small, small business, business of, the of the year award and with the Greater Lexington Chamber of Commerce. So it's just outstanding. I uh, can personally brag business. on him and and what he does. So uh, earlier this summer, I had a tree hit my rental house, literally cut through the roof right into all the rafters, and rain was getting in. And Larry was one of my first phone calls. And um, he came in and really, you know, helped me out mm-hmm. a lot. And it was crazy through the through B and I and our, the relationships in the room, we were able to turn that house over in ten days. So it was it was rented back in ten days. Um, and I mean, I'm talking about some pretty extensive damage. And Larry was integral in that part, making awesome. sure that everything got dried out. And and he literally stopped what he was doing and got in there along with um, along with um, Madison with. Um, Pioneer Tree. Pioneer Tree. She's awesome. I mean, Pioneer, like Pioneer literally, I kid you not, she was there in 30 minutes with a crane lifting that tree off so there wasn't further damage so we could tarp it. And and then she came back the next day to finish the job. So absolutely amazing service. So, you know, you talk about being I and yeah, it's great to give and receive referrals. But when you need something personally, it's so nice to have oh, those yeah. people in your wheelhouse that come to bat for you. But Larry was one of them. He did a remarkable job for us. That's fantastic. Yeah, we, we, you know, we talked a lot about referrals earlier, but that's one thing we actually didn't talk about. Uh, Mike and I recently did another uh, podcast and, and another uh, live radio show uh, that talked about um, Thanksgiving and Black Friday and Cyber Monday and mm-hmm. Small Business Saturday and the $800 billion that will be spent just this weekend. Wow. $800 billion. Eight, eight, eight hundred billion dollars. That's a lot of dough. It right, is a lot of dough. Spent. We yeah. have our own little initiative about Santa shopping B&I. Yeah. Um, all the folks that can give gift certificates out there and all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, we're really trying to do some B&I shopping. But in that conversation, Mike and I talked about the fact that uh, it's actually proven that about 30% of the folks that will shop, that 30% of that, of that $800 billion will actually be spent on themselves. <laughs> the, you know, you're out there and you're like, oh, that looks cool. I want that. I'll, I'll buy that, right? And so, but you were just saying that with BNI, it's like you it's great to give and receive good quality referrals, but when you need it, that's right for yourself, then you don't have to even second guess or try to figure out that's who right. am I going to go to for heating and air, for plumbing, for roofing, for a tree service like a a, a disastrous situation, right? Right. For pools. Right. right for real estate right. for life insurance for sure business baking and then you have the b2b side 
hey, right. hey, Mike, let's don't forget about the B2B side, being that that's kind of where Correct, we represent. Right? <laughs> we were talking about consumer services over here. Yeah, I feel so like HR we're letting our guys and payroll down. Services HR or. and payroll services. That's right. Do you remember that dentist that opened up and he used um, the sign company, the credit card processor, the banker, and it was just like, you know, it's not just buying a new home, it's right. buying a business. Right. And, mm-hmm. and and really that dentist saw our whole group as just a, a resource. A resource center. Yeah, Will right. Cheatham kind of spearheaded that. He was her banker and hooked her up yeah. with an amazing group of folks. You said you said pools. Hate to bring it back around to the trades. Yeah. But Pete Alwine pools. What a story that is. Do you know that story? I do, but I didn't know it until recently. Okay. And so for them going and and ha- coming up here three years ago, he said. Yeah. Right. And uh, coming from a different market. Yes. And then wanting to go into a market that they didn't even know a soul. No. And then a uh, Miss Shirley Town. You, Imagine that. <laughs> you reached out to him randomly you all i was frustrated with a local pool provider here not getting service as quickly as i wanted and i saw one of his digital ads yeah reached out to him thought it was sharp and i just gave him a facebook message and said hey would you like to come visit our chapter and so the local folks had turned us down said they were too busy and so i was like do you want to handle lexington and so i personally used them had a good experience he came to the meeting and um, the rest is history. Yeah, so, three years ago, and now, now brick and mortar, and we, baby. We've done, but we've done business with him as well. Yeah, and, and so Pete Alwine uh, Pool and Spa, uh, headquartered in uh, like the Augusta, Georgia area, mm-hmm. uh, which is probably about an hour drive, forty-five sure. minutes to an hour drive. He comes up here, invests in BNI, invests in time every week, drives up, and now they opened up a full pool and spa uh, sales installation and service center right here three members and being three now. members and yep. bni and does huge business uh came to a bigger market this yes. is a much bigger market uh and has really made his mark uh here in the the midlands uh, and so that is that's another great that story a, and one of my you know that without uh, another i keep saying what i really like about bni i there's you can tell there's a lot of stuff that i really like about bni stories. right it's like my favorite part <laughs> i know my favorite part I love my you. favorite part right <laughs> But when you can see businesses prosper from simply uh, just committing some time, right? Now, there's a little bit of money involved, right? But it's not, it's nothing compared to other types of marketing and advertising that you can do. But when you just commit time, which is the majority of what it is, uh, of getting to know people, being intentional, there's the word intentional again. Uh, and then driving it back like that is just, it's amazing what, what, what you can do. I know, Mike, you've made some really solid relationships uh, in, uh, in B&I. Um, anybody particular you wanted to, uh, to mention? Because I, I feel like so we many. talked all about RRG. What about yeah, there's Gary so many. Blight? Gary, yeah, Gary Blight. Blight, what a rock star he is, too. I mean, uh-huh. he is Blight. Uh, the educational moment, like, hero. And uh, yes. he comes in, he... He eats it up. He loves doing it. Uh, but now that he has uh, transitioned back to uh, this year being the president, I think what he's trying to really do is he's trying to be the president and kind of a quasi-education moment Education moment. Education moment. Right. Uh, but then Matt Sullivan's come in, a, a closing attorney, and he's doing a great job yes. reinforcing it. But Crazy, have a funny great story. I found my initial invite letter to B&I it's from no other than the Gary Blight. Look at that. Isn't really? that crazy? Sat on my bulletin board for over two years. Wow. And then I finally pulled the plug. Gary did a Gary does a good job. He's probably the best educational oh, guy. Sharp at, uh, dude. Uh, so uh, Gary with I. Allstate. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Gary Blight. Gary You're Blight Allstate here That's in Lexington. That's right. You are <laughs> hey, in good hands. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us. Shirley, thank you very much for taking some time out of your day and to come join us here and let people know about B&I. Um, totally my pleasure. B&I of the Midlands.com. Yes. Right? B&I of the Midlands at gmail at gmail.com be and i at gmail.com thanks for joining us here on the brainstorm with matt and mike